How do? Here I am again. And I've brought Darth along with me. And we thought between us we might kill some stuff. Or <laughs> more than likely in this episode be killed by some stuff. I'm sort of in two minds on what to do about this. I could really do with a second force to to pin the garrison. Because I know I'm going to sound like a big girl's blouse. But um, I always take heaviest losses against these. And... Uh, I'm, I'm, I've sort of been doing a few episodes of the, um, what's it called, Road to Independence campaign with this new submod, Bram McBorn submod, and uh, I have no idea what to measure it against because I've never done it before, but it looks to me like um, the morale and all the settings are different, and as a result, it hurts. <laughs> um, and because I tend to take my heaviest losses against indigenous tribes I suppose you call them that if that's the, the modern PC phrase uh, I think it's safe to say that that Inuit one is going to hurt so don't want to do this or do I just go for it it's foolish to just go for it everything technically is wrong about just going for it I'm badly outnumbered. I'm also outflanked. Small force, but nevertheless, they're there. Lord. To me, that tells me that if I attack them. Your Majesty? I attack them, providing they don't incept me. I should be able to just take them on, but I don't think it's going to happen like that, is it? Uh, <laughs> uh. Fuck it. Line for battle. Let's just do it. <laughs> if in doubt, go forward. <laughs> oh god, what am I doing? Uh, right, so we got three Cav the General, obviously shite loads of warriors, some guys with sticks and bows and arrows who always cause me casualties, and they will come up directly behind them, presumably. Um, five and a half thousand screaming, pissed off Native American Indians. What can possibly go wrong? Okay. <laughs> if um, if any of you are sort of relatively new to these, or you're just picking this one up, you know, sort of off the cuff from YouTube or whatever, I did a battle earlier in this series where one of my brigades, was supported by another one, I faced, I think it was 23 or 24,000 enemy Euro European troops, I think, as well. So they were decent quality. And I beat them until the game crashed, but I was beating them. I think it's safe to say. There's s genuinely higher s odds, as it were, of me losing this one than there was of me losing that one. I was quietly confident going into that one, but... Experience tells me... That being confident against Native American Indians is fucking stupid. Right, so position of this gun is going to be important, isn't it? I have canister on this, so that's good. Yes, sir. Truth, I'll never wait my command. Yeah, they know they're going to be fed, don't they? So, who forms squares now, who doesn't? You don't, because I've got grenades on. I've got, I'll take grenades off. Alright, so the Warwick Shears... No, hold on. Change my mind. The Bengals. Fifth Bengal Infantry will take the flank. Flank. 
I'm going to stick with sixth foot. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll do this. Do this this way. foot make sure you've got a field of fire probably not the sharpest thing to do to shove them in there really is it That's a good field of fire, like that. <clears throat> hmm. Affords the flank of that unit a degree of protection. That'll do. That'll do. Hmm. And morte avec votre hairdo. Can just kind of lurk in the back. Soon enough, won't we? And here we go. Oh, I can't do them. Start chewing away. mouse going on here. I hope the battery isn't about to run out. I may end up pausing if it does. As soon as I get the opportunity to use canister in this battle, I'm going to have to take it with both hands. <coughs> it's about causing maximum casualties in the shortest time possible. And a fire, please, if you would be so kind. And left of them soon, isn't it? I 
think. Gentlemen, you may have to fix bayonets. Radius is to inspire. Hmm. Okay, so there's a second knot up there. Boys, you may want to get your freak on now. guns. Man your fucking guns. Don't you give up your guns. Let's see if I can get any cavalry around the flanks before they cause me any serious damage. Spray on those guns. Shattered. I don't want them coming back. That's good. Mm. It's like I've accidentally hit my own fucking troops now, isn't it? I think the phrase is, whoops! Everything I've got goes at them. Good, they're all done. Don't just fucking sit there. Frightening enemy unit. Oh, okay. doing everybody's nicely tucked behind there oh you crafty little shit Fuck, dude.
in and out a smidge. an opportunity then. your posts please enemy
give them the fucking lot, gentlemen, please. And that leaves. One last bunch, I think. You've seen the bicycle rack, now you've seen the horse rack. That's where any Native American Indian of standing and status would park his horse. Yes, perfect spacing you'll notice. Custom designed. Tested in our factories in North America. Start shooting at you then. So these are the last. I think we might have to have an advance. General advance, please. to the full form, isn't it? but I might just need you to run. Miraculously find a couple of units to our rear. We'll, uh, park them there. Fucking horse stakes out as you want, mate. It won't stop you being carved up. For you will be introduced to throttlings of the ears, nose, and throat in the near future. Quick line. We don't want that now, do we? An adventure for sure, but I thought they'd be giving me a bit of a hiding, to be honest. They haven't really got into me, have they? Nope. 
in any big numbers. And they're all about to break. Let's just put a bit of shot into you and see if you hold. I do believe they are about to go. Well, it just goes to show, doesn't it, eh? You never can tell. And <laughs> because it's only for... Well, only It's for the region. That'll do. Don't need to hunt them down to extinction. We can let them return to their wigwams. Or wherever it is they lived in. Huts? I don't know. Whatever. Hmm. Yes. Better than I expected. Thank you. We'll get rid of that. They don't mind me at all. But then why would anybody mind me? I'm fabulous. <laughs> Honest. Unfortunately the world hasn't realised that yet. So we will bid a fond farewell to our short but challenging hmm? enemies, the Inuits, who were quite happy and peaceful in their little corner of the world until I turned up in big wooden ships with sails on. And on that note, I think we have reached the end of another thrilling episode. <laughs> and the next one is going to be um, an intern. Then after the end turn we can see what we can do about getting into Damascus. And uh, should be able to have a look at Istanbul then as well. So yeah, so that's the end of another one. Uh, so, quick summary. America, other than a single region owned by Austria, is ours. India, other than a single region owned by Austria, is ours. The whole of North Africa much of the Ottoman Empire, apart from two knots of resistance, one in, what's this, the Balkans, and one in, um, my ignorance of geography in that part of the world is almost zero. The area between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, well, that, is that the Urals, or, I don't know, whatever. So yeah, there, uh, much of the western seaboard of Europe, so basically we're looking at Central and Eastern Europe, um, Scandinavia, loosely speaking, and Arasha. Plenty, plenty, plenty more to do. So uh, yeah, I'll wind that one up and we'll be back next time to run an end turn and see what occurs. Right, see you then. Ta-da!